Hi, I'm Greg Brown. And I'm David Ivey, and this is Dynamic Discussions. This is another installment in a weekly video series we're bringing you about safety products and how to use them. This week's question is, what training do I need to be able to work at heights? So on the job site, your authorized person is just your standard workers on a job site. So they've received the basic training needed to be on a job site. So they need to know how to use the fall protection equipment you know, the ins and outs of it to make sure they can properly don a harness, attach a self-retracting lifeline, install a roof anchor. So they want to make sure they understand how to use the products. Yeah, so a hazard analysis is done. If it's determined during that hazard analysis that you have a hazard that would require someone to use a personal fall arrest system, then your workers at that point would become an authorized person once they receive the training. So they want to be trained on what to do at heights, when to don the harness, the parameters of all of their PFAS components, and also the rescue plan. Need to be aware of that, environmental factors, and a lot of different things. So on a job site, you will have a competent person. So your competent person has received extensive safety training. So they've went through, you know, your let's say an OSHA 30, um, or even longer sometimes. So they'll, they'll be your safety trainers on your job site. They have the authority to start work, stop work. So they'll be putting the safety program in place and the authorized person will be the one that'll be kind of performing the daily tasks on the site.